Hello and welcome to Baiju's IES. Let's get started and look into our daily quiz. Let's look into the first question. With reference to uranium, which of the following statements is or correct? It is weakly radioactive because all isotopes of uranium are unstable. In India, only public sector companies under Government of India are allowed to explore and mine atomic minerals like uranium. The largest deposits are found in China, South Africa and Argentina. Which of the statements are correct? The answer to this is 1 and 2 only. Why? That is because the largest deposits are found in Australia, followed by Kazakhstan and then we have Canada. When we look into the second statement, it is right because uranium exploration, production and utilization come under the control of the central government. So only those bodies and authorities which are given permission by the central government, they would be able to explore and mine atomic minerals like uranium. Why have we taken this practice question? Because of the reference given in this article. So when it comes to India, we have some of the agencies like Atomic Minerals Directorate for Exploration and Research. We also have Uranium Corporation of India Limited. It is these organization and agencies which are currently engaging into exploration of the uranium. So kindly remember, these are the places where we currently have uranium deposits in India. This can also be important from your preliminary examination point of view. So just have a bird eye view. Where are the uranium deposits in India? Now let's look into the next practice question. Consider the following pairs. We have the Tiger Reserve on one side and the state that this Tiger Reserve is present in. Anamalai Tiger Reserve, Tamil Nadu. Satkosia Tiger Reserve, Odisha. Philippit Tiger Reserve, West Bengal. Which of the above pairs is or correctly matched? The answer to this is 1 and 2 only. Why? That is because when you look into the Anamalai Tiger Reserve, yes, it is in the state of Tamil Nadu. Satkosia Tiger Reserve, yes, it is in the state of Odisha. But Philippit Tiger Reserve is not in the state of West Bengal, but instead it is in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Why have we taken this practice question? Because of the mention of Annamalai Tiger Reserve. Now let's look into the next practice question. Which of the following statements about Darwin Port is or correct? It is a port located on the southwestern coast of Australia. The US owned Landbridge Group had won the bid for a lease of Port Darwin and the port hosts the annual naval exercise between United States of America and Australia. Which of the statements are correct? The answer to this is none. Why? That is because when you look into the location of the Darwin port, it is not on the southwestern coast of Australia, but instead it is in the northern part of Australia. Now when we look into the second statement, it is again wrong. That is because Landbridge Group happens to be one of the companies which is owned by a Chinese which means it is a Chinese based company and not a company based from United States of America. Why have we taken this practice question? That is because there are issues that are surfacing between China as well as Australia. What are these issues? One, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, what exactly happened? We have Australia which started questioning the affairs of China. What did it do? It questioned China about the way it conducted its activities with respect to the COVID-19. So the question that whether this particular virus originated from China or not. They wanted experiments, investigation to be conducted and at the same time they did not allow Huawei which happens to be one of the companies originating from China to conduct 5G trials. So on one side it wanted to understand what was the root cause of COVID-19. It wanted to investigate COVID-19 whether it has any issues in China and at the same time it did not allow conduct of the 5G trials in Australia from the Huawei company. As a result, China gets infuriated. It does not want to have connections with Australia, which is why they engage in tensions and as a result, they start imposing sanctions on Australia, which disrupts number of key sectors of Australia like wine, barley, coal and n number of exports. So what exactly happens? It was a tit-for-tat approach that was taken by China. China. So China also started imposing sanctions. In the present scenario, we have one of the ports called as the Darwin port as shown in the picture. This particular port was given a lease 
from the Australian authorities for a period of about 99 years when it was in the period of 2015. So the lease was given to one of the Chinese companies which happens to be a company called as Landbridge Group for a period of 99 years. Why did Australia give permission to this particular company? There are two reasons for it. One, the amount that was given to this particular port by this land bridge group was too huge that Australia could not reject and at the same time they also said that they will be making large amount of money investment when it comes to the infrastructure. This was very tempting which is why the state in Australia, the Northern Territory immediately accepted this lease agreement and which is why they have approved this lease agreement for 99 years. They had approved it and now because of tensions between Australia and China, they are planning to review this lease agreement. On one side, this is because of the strategic approach as well. What is the strategic approach? When you look into this particular region, you also have United States of America, which also conducts military activities as well. How? There is United States of America's Marines, which are stationed on a rotational basis in a close by international airport. They also conduct military and civilian activities as well because they have a close port in this particular area where they conduct activities. So they are looking at this port as a part where China can see the activities of Australia and United States of America, which is why they are revisiting this lease agreement so that this can be withdrawn in the future course of action, which is what is currently being looked at. So this Darwin port is a controversy between Australia and China, where a lease agreement has been given for nearly 99 years. Now let's look into the next practice question. The Hala Dam recently seen in news is in, is it Iran, Pakistan, Tajikistan or Afghanistan? The answer to this is Afghanistan. Why have we taken this practice question? Because of the reference given in this article. Where is this Dahla Dam? This happens to be in the province of Kandahar as shown in this particular image. So kindly remember, it is located in Kandahar province in Afghanistan. It happens to be the second largest dam in Afghanistan. And this dam was built by the United States of America nearly 70 years ago. Why? One, for drinking water purposes and also for the irrigation. So this Dahla Dam provides irrigation to the farmers via a network of canals as well as drinking water facility for this provincial capital. And now in the present context, we have Taliban which has captured this particular dam. So in the near future, there can be issues in the Kandahar province. So kindly remember, this Dahla Dam is constructed on the Arga Dam River. That is why it is also called as the Argan Dab Dam as it is constructed along this particular river. Now let's look into the previous year question. With reference to National Legal Services Authority, consider the following statements. Its objective is to provide free and competent legal services to the weaker sections of the society on the basis of equal opportunity. It issues guidelines for the state legal service authorities to implement the legal programs and schemes throughout the country. Which of the statements given above is or correct? The answer to this is both 1 and 2. When we look into the National Legal Services Authority, this was constituted under the Legal Services Authorities Act of 1987. So the Chief Justice of India happens to be the patron in chief of the NALSA. This NALSA was created to give effect to the directive principles of the state policy under Article 39A of the Constitution of India. So the Article 39A of the Constitution provides free legal aid for the poor and for the weaker sections of the society, those who would not be able to afford the advocates in such circumstances, it is this authority which will provide an advocate for those people, those individuals who are not capable of taking an advocate, fight their case in the court of law so that justice can be delivered on the basis of equal opportunity. So the NALSA lays down all the policies, principles, guidelines, frameworks, economical schemes for the state legal services to implement the legal service program 
throughout the country. Now let's look into the fact of the day. The fact of the day for today's discussion happens to be Down syndrome. What is this Down syndrome? This is a condition in which a child is born with an extra copy of 21st chromosome, which is why it is also called as trisomy 21. How exactly does this happen? Normally, at the time of conception of a baby, it basically inherits all the information from its parents. So it forms about 46 chromosomes, 23 is from the mother, another 23 is from the father. So all in all, majority of the individuals will have about 46 chromosomes. But in this particular case of Down syndrome, they will have what is called as the 47 chromosomes. This extra chromosome that is persisting in the that particular individual will result in abnormal cell division which results in extra genetic material which is why Down syndrome happens to be a genetic disorder. When a person is suffering from Down syndrome they will have physical and mental disabilities which is why it will cause neurological functioning to be affected and as a result they will not have analytical thinking they will have abstract information they would not be able to perform intellectual functions which is why there will be mental developmental delays as well. Many of these disabilities are lifelong in nature this can also shorten life expectancy of that particular person. Treatment can help this particular individual but we have to remember that as of now we do not have cure to this disease and hence it cannot be cured. Only that treatment can be provided but there is no cure as of now to the Down syndrome. It is this that we have to understand in reference to this article. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.